Okay, this is Paul, Inventor 3. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is uh, silver plating, electroplating over copper. I'm going to try to go fast here and cover a lot of details. Uh, first, uh, I've got about uh, a cup and a half measured distilled water. Put my copper piece in there in a glass container. Here's an old uh, silver medallion and a coiled up piece of uh, pure silver from colloidal, from making my own colloidal silver. It was a straight uh, rod. Put that in there. Turn this out to about 10 volts. Uh, I've done this about 50 times now. Now you got to take your silver nitrate here. Let me get the right amount on there. Let's see if I could show you this. It's on the end of a popsicle stick. Where am I? Up, up, up. There's very little there. Whoops, get up there. Very little. You, you don't want to... The major mistake... I'm even tapping a little off. Put that on there real quick, seal that back up. You gotta watch out, this is silver nitrate. It is poison, it is an oxidizer. Do not inhale dust. Uh, I'm gonna throw on a rubber glove right now myself. This will turn your skin black, it's absorbed through the skin. You really don't wanna get this on your skin. You should also be wearing N95, I believe it's an N95 type uh, uh, gas mask, gas filter. You should also be wearing uh, sealed goggles on this too. I, I'm going to use about 10 volts. I started out lower before. Uh, let me, excuse me while I mix this up here, Paul. Until it's all dissolved. I should have did that before turning the power on. Dorcas Malorcas. Okay, stir it up good. You can see already how it's starting to turn color there. You don't want it to turn color too fast. Okay. You want it to take minutes to turn color. See it's starting to turn there. You want it to take minutes, not seconds. Okay, if it takes seconds, that means you've put in too much silver nitrate. That is one of the most important things and I think the most common mistakes everybody's making and I have made numerous times is putting too much silver nitrate. All you need is a tiny bit. If you put too much in, your part's going to turn black very quickly. Now you can see one side's more colored than the other so I'm gonna turn this around thing is I'm doing a copper tube here and I gotta keep stirring the inside here also this should take about really a process of about 25 minutes to half hour uh, and another thing with putting too much silver nitrate what will happen too is not only will it turn black really fast but it'll build up this really thick black uh, and grayish uh, buildup on there. The silver and, and you know chemical reaction and it'll clump off and fall off in chunks all over inside your, your water here. And that you do not want. So those are signs that you have too much silver nitrate. All you need is a tiny bit, again, I can't emphasize enough because that's one of the main problems. The other thing is you'll have this black casing on there, you'll pull it out, you'll part out, you'll wipe off this blackness and your part will still be copper. You know, the plating will not hold. So you can't rush it. Uh, this is a pretty big part. This isn't like a penny. I mean, we're doing a lot of surface area compared to a penny. Here's one that I recently plated. Whoops, where is it? Get it in a viewfinder. I'm looking at my camera's viewfinder upside down. But here's one I did not too long ago.
and I have about uh, 10, 10 volts I meant to tell you about uh, I'm applying about 3 amps uh, I've experimented more with the voltage than I have with the amps I gotta make sure to keep agitating and stirring this water here it's very important especially in such a small especially in my tube here I gotta keep agitating it in the center you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cheat a little bit here too I'm gonna try to stick my silver piece right in the middle of the tube without touching the edges oh it's like playing that game doctor Bzz. There we go, get some nice silver particles in there. Okay, yeah, I've done this about 50 times already with many, many results that I didn't like. Finally, little by little, getting it more and more perfected. Got to keep turning it, keep agitating things. And then stick it in the oven at 350, and then bon appetit! <laughs> Uh, all right, I got to keep you guys entertained, you know, while I'm sitting here cooking. In the kitchen, cooking. Okay, yeah, we're stirring it up. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little bit of copper on that side, a little darker. You got to keep turning it. Um, yeah, you want to start with distilled water. Uh, no other type of water. Distilled water has nothing in it. No minerals, no nothing. Here's a, I bought a, a water tester, like 10, 12 bucks on eBay. You could check your, your water. It should be, uh, you know, zero parts per million. You can buy it in a gallon in a store. And water tester's nice to have anyhow for other experiments. coming along good here let's see how far are we into this video seven and a half minutes keep agitating keep stirring keep stirring keep turning keep stirring make a little whirlpool right in the center there now at first I used to have my voltage around three volts and uh, the thing is, once I brought it up around 10, this is much better now because the water will actually start changing color after a while here. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see it within the first 15 minutes because I'm going to try to cut this video at 15 minutes here. And I'm going to show you the part after 15 minutes, but I'm telling you it should go about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. But that's okay because I'm going to wipe it off and show you guys end the video and then uh, I'll continue on plating it again I'll stick it back in here and yeah after maybe an hour or something your water starts uh, I could even see it turning now and there's like a film of, of silver if you have the voltage too low uh, the silver won't let go of the molecules as much and uh, the more darker your water starts getting, the easier it starts getting to, and faster it starts getting to collect the silver onto your copper part. Uh, that was very, f oh yeah, look at all the swirling, oh yeah, inside there. All that, all the silver's coming off nice. It's in there. Just got to get the silver to start sticking to the part. looks good. Again, I'm going to stick my silver part right down inside there. Out. Just touch the side. Wiggle it around a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oop, 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 Okay. Stir that up inside there. Stir it on the outside. Part looking better. Need a little bit more on that side. So, those are the important things. Let's see where we at now. We're at about 10 minutes. 
could just uh, fast forward the video if you want. So I uh, don't edit many of my videos. Well, I haven't edited any of my videos yet, and uh, I'm not going to start yet. I kind of like that. Uh, lets people know that I'm not uh, ever doing any trickery. No special camera effects here. Stir, stir, stir it up, baby, now. Stir it up, baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, baby, now. Come on, baby. All right, Paul. I think you've been in this lab a little too long alone. <laughs> Okay. You could use a popsicle stick. I, I was uh, using a plastic knife before, which is probably a little better. But it got contaminated. I only had one. Didn't have time to pick up another one. Whatever. Whatever works. Actually, if you had a glass stirrer, that would be perfect. Mm. Ah. Uh, where is this? Cheers. It's Friday. I'm watching my calories. <laughs> Only 64. Times 6 or 8. Okay, where are we at? 12 minutes? <laughs> yes, Paul. Alone in this lab too long here, buddy. Because i got to turn my radio back on. But I don't want that blaring in the background of my videos. No, sirree. Don't want that. No, sirree. Got to keep... Keep going here. Where are we at here? Uh, 12, almost. We'll go to 14 minutes and uh, wipe it off and show you the results. Oh, the water's uh, looking a little tanner there. It's really got to go more. But I'm going to show you guys beforehand anyhow, because there's still patches on there. You can't rush it. That would probably be a lot faster if you were doing just a penny. I'm sure. Uh, pretty sure. <laughs> it's a lot less uh, silver. You have to pull off that chunk of silver in there. Okay, 13 and a half minutes. Again, 10 volts, 3 amp, about 25, even 35 minutes, depending on you know how thick of a layer you want on there. Okay, 14 minutes. I'm gonna take this out and show you guys real quick what it looks like right now. Like I said, this is only about half as long as it should be going. I'm going to wipe it off here. Just wiping off one side. Well, I'll go all the way around here real quick. There we go. Oh, where's the viewfinder? There we go. It's, uh... See, there's some weaker spots, some thicker spots. It's you got to really make sure it's very important to clean your part very good before doing this too so but yeah I'm gonna let that sit in there longer remember not too much silver nitrite this is Paul inventor 3 uh, let's see let me show you real quick here's some of the finished whoa some finished parts over there and some ones that were not so good over there. 
these are all good ones. Signing off. Talk to you later.